I went to Spain 10 days before the event. But we got there. Training was hard. <laughs> I'm not gonna survive this. This is crazy. Did I reach my peak too early? This is what scared me a little bit. All right, guys, and we have safely made it to Cairo. We're good. We feel good. We slept great, and now it's time to train. Great. Coming into this event, we knew it was going to be very difficult. We're going to face Japan in round one. Round one is going to be very important, crucial, extremely important. Tomorrow, we compete at 2.17 p.m. Man, I'm excited. Good morning, my people. It is game day. We slept good, we feel good, and now it's time to get ready and do good. Let's go. Here we have our power breakfast from home. We are watching some anime. Let's go. Breakfast done, and now it's time to do our hair. Alright guys, our hair is done. And now, all that's left to do is relax in the room for a little bit, watch some stuff, mentally prepare, and then head to the competition. And I'll see you guys when we are getting there or arrive. We have everything set, our bag full of water, our competition bag, and we are on our way to the competition. Let's make it happen. Come Saturday, I woke up, I was calm, I wasn't stressed out, what I felt was different than normal, right? Usually I'm very excited or very nervous or very something. This time it felt like, was that peace? Or maybe I was too tired to even feel stuff. <laughs> I went to the warm up area, I did the warm ups like I normally do. I started my Ohan Dai, I broke up Ohan Dai into four sections. I did this section slow hard, slow hard, sat down, rest, next part, slow hard, slow hard, slow hard, rest, and like this. And before I knew I was drenched, I was on fire, I was on the tatami. It didn't matter who my opponent was, it didn't matter if it was this guy, this guy, that guy. All that mattered was, I'm going to do this kata, and these are the obstacles I must overcome in order to be proud of myself. Everything was happening by itself. There was no effort in my head, nothing. When I finished my kata that out, I said, I hit every single obstacle. El Kain, proud of it. Alright guys, and the 
round robin matches have finished. I did in round one, Ohan Dai against Japan. I got a 41-9. I won, thankfully. I was really relaxed, which is kind of different, right? Because I usually don't have that relaxed feeling of like, oh, I'm loose. I was just relaxed. You know, and I'm overly focused now. I was just doing my job, right? Just doing my thing, enjoying every moment, right? And I won, and after that one match, I was very, very happy. It was like, okay, the toughest opponent is out of the way. Now we can just keep going. And then round two, I did Kururumfa. I got a 42.0. And then in round three, I did Ohan, and I got a 42.0 again. Now I'm back at the hotel. A little bit of rush, right? Because I have to eat very fast and then go back to the competition for the quarterfinals against Turkey. Ennis, he's very good. He's very strong and I just want to give my best and I know if I can give my best, I'll be very proud of myself. So I'll see you guys in a little bit in the room. Let's go! Our spaghetti bolognese has arrived in less than 30 minutes. I actually put a timer because they say in 30 minutes, you know? But it got here in like 20. Let's go! We have carbs and protein and if not enough protein, I have protein snacks for more. I'm going to eat this, watch some Minecraft, and relax. If you're not relaxed that much, I just have like another hour here. Yeah. See you guys in a little bit. All right guys, we are back. We are warmed up. We are ready to go. Quarterfinals, I went against Enes from Turkey. Very good ass. And this time he did Unsu against me and I did Anan in the same way. Finished my kata. I was happy. I stuck each obstacle, overcame it, and thankfully I won. Semi-final against Ali. It's difficult. Why? I changed a lot of parts in my Ali. A lot of things. For the better.
it was fine because in my head i did my best and there's that's all we can do and there's always better but better will come with time with growth with training right but that day that was my best and i hit it and i'm happy with it so i'm so tired i'll talk to you guys in the room but we made it to the bronze medal match which is awesome we lost to the world champion by 0.5 close match i'm happy we just gotta keep working baby and i'll talk to you guys in a little bit i'm hungry my voice is gone and yeah let's go all right guys we have got our dinner it is almost 10 p.m so i'm going to eat um organize get the ghee iron and all that good stuff and then i'll talk to you guys later all right my people and our ghee is hung and iron it is way better than it was after the competition today i have organized everything my shorts are hung and i have my fan right there blowing air so it can dry a lot quicker i've worn these shorts since 2021 every single competition it's been through all the ups and downs all the time so let's get in a little bit more details about today we had a long day we did five matches number one against japan number two against italy number three against hungary number four against ennis from turkey and number five against ali the world champion from turkey and that final match was great i felt good i felt relaxed i felt fast I didn't get tired. That training in Spain definitely paid off because I felt like I was able to stick everything. I didn't have to think. I was just calm and I just let the work do its work. You know, just let it all out there and happen. And now I'm in the room watching some Minecraft. My head, uh, I want to separate my head from karate a little bit because I don't know exactly what kata I'm going to do tomorrow for the bronze match against Yuji Moto from Japan. I don't know, am I going to do Anan? Am I going to do Ohantai? I don't know. We will see tomorrow. But for now, no more karate, Minecraft, rest, and I'll see you guys mañana. Let's go. Good morning, guys. It is time for breakfast. Let's enjoy. All right, guys, and we are back in the room. I have my bag set up, and now I came up with an idea of what I want to do today. I think I'm going to do Ohan Dai because when I reviewed my katas yesterday of all my rounds, I thought Ohan Dai was the one that had like the least mistakes and I felt overall very good and like I controlled the whole kata. So today, that is what I'm going in the tatami with that mentality. But I will also try Anan while I warm up. But right now, honestly, I think Ohan Dai 90%, Anan 10%. So let's see, as long as I can control the kata and do the performance like I have envisioned, I will be fine and I will be happy. So yeah, anyways, I'm drinking some cafe and then we're going to the competition. See you guys later. All right guys, we are in the warm up area. It is time to work. Now the challenge happened. What cut? going to do for broads metal am i going to do anna that i have been winning several encounters against ennis against japan kikuchi against ennis again in, in turkey against abe in the semi-finals am i going to do ohan dai that i felt very good that i have more challenges to do in this kata there were more risks doesn't matter i'm going to put that challenge in there i'm gonna do it i'm gonna stick it in i'm gonna do it good i took my five cues pause there do this do that stick hit back go, go, finish home control the cut i gave myself these challenges these obstacles Thing that was stuck in my head is Ohan Dai I did against Ryuji in Dublin last year and I lost by 0.1. 
Anand this year has not lost. And it felt like doing Anand was a safer bet. But I didn't want to take the safe bet. I don't care about safe bet. I care about what I wanted to do. And I wanted to do a good Ohandai. When I finished that Ohandai, I said, did my job. Three's coming over. I'm seeing the score that I have one, I have two, I have three. Whoa, it ends up being my highest score so far in WKF of 44.4 and I'm like, yes, 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 it feels good. My third consecutive Premier League medal. I am super happy. Super ecstatic, it's yes, we did it. All right, guys, and we did it. Bronze medal, baby, and we're here. We are eating dinner. We're going to enjoy, and I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about the details about this medal, and I'll show you a little bit more when we get back to the room. Let's go. Oh, baby, look at that dessert. Well earned. We got a chocolate cake. Oh, oh, and we are back in the room. I am packing everything. We have an early morning tomorrow. We wake up very early and then we head out to the pyramids. So I'm gonna put everything away and then I'll talk to you guys in a little bit about how I feel and then some more details later on down the line. All the packing has been done. Yes, everything is set and now I'm going to sleep. I'm very tired. Early morning tomorrow. To early morning tomorrow. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. You will hear all details very soon about everything. But tomorrow it's time to relax and enjoy the last day in Cairo. See you guys. Mañana. You know. I've been eating very well for a long time. So now that I have my bronze medal, I gotta do some chocolate. Oh. All right guys, it is Sunday. It is the next day. We are on our way to the pyramids. It is very loud. We're in the car. Oh. All right guys, and we have made it to a random hotel here by the pyramid. As you can see, the pyramid is right there. I have my boy Sakichi, Ming, and Mosai. Yes, so we ended up not getting scammed, thankfully. They're trying to scam us because they're like, oh, you gotta go to the pyramid, blah, 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 blah. And we're like, no, we're going to a hotel. So we're in this very, 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 very nice hotel, right? And we have a 15 minute walk to the pyramid. So let's go, let's enjoy. All right, guys, scam left, right, try and get scammed everywhere, but we have made it to the pyramid. Am I touching? Can you make me touch it? Yes. Woo! Okay, we made it to the official ticket area. Let's go. Ticket check. Now time to get in and try not to get scammed. All right, this is the map. Very nice. We're here at the entrance of the pyramids. All right, guys, I'm in the block. I have Ray, I have Grace, I have Aki. Akichi, 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 Akihiro, Os. Hey, yes.
are climbing, literally climbing. All right, guys, so we are getting the tickets to literally go inside of the pyramid. Okay, so we're gonna go in there. Everyone that has gone in there has come out super sweaty. So let's see. All right, guys, we have officially entered the pyramid. Excuse me. Sorry, we have entered the pyramid. This is a rock from Egypt. This is another rock from Egypt. This is, I don't know. Uh, wow. Very tight. Have to be careful with head. Don't hit rock. Ah, uh, now I understand why everyone takes so long. All right, guys, so we're gonna go up there. There's a section that we gotta climb, so everyone is very sweaty when they leave. So I wonder if I'm going to be very sweaty when I leave. So let's see. It's definitely very, very steep. There's camera here, they have Wi-Fi. This is fake. This is fake. I'm kind of easy. Very hot to climb up. Okay, Habibis, we are here climbing. Whoa, long climb inside. Very hot, actually. So I think I'm going to sweat. <laughs> Alright, guys, we have cleared the tight tunnel. And now we're going to go up another passage. But super cool, we're literally inside the pyramid. Okay, another tunnel. Let's see. Wah! Literally nothing. More tunnels. It smells so bad. Oh, this is the tomb of the pharaoh all right guys so we're here this is the tomb of the king yes we're here inside the pyramids i touch history oh down oh this one is more difficult oh yeah should we go backward Ah, I think backwards is easier. Backwards, less tired. <laughs> We're working, guys. Training number 29,000. We're almost there. With the machine, then your workout is done. Uh, finished workout number 29,000. This is a, the, the seat of the pharaoh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Very high class. Oh, finished. Very good. And we have found the space. Let's go. All right, my people, our little adventure here in the pyramid part has come to an end. It was fun. The most annoying part was all the fake tour guides trying to scam you and rip you off and say like, hey, I help you for free. It's very annoying. But thankfully I've been here before and I understand everyone has to work, you know, but we got through it. It was fun. We saw the pyramids. We went inside the pyramids. We saw the tomb of the king. Super cool. Now, uh, Sakichi is ordering an Uber to go back to our hotel, which is like 45 minutes away, maybe an hour with traffic. And then we're gonna shower really quick, eat, and then go to the airport. What's up, guys? And like that, we are back from Cairo and already back to work focusing on the next mission at hand, which is going to be the Pan American Championship. But before we get to that, let's talk about how Cairo went as a whole, details, mentality, what changed, what was different, what was going on every step of the way. And let's talk about the medal really quick, right? This is the medal. Super nice, you see, Premier League. This is my second medal in Cairo. The first one was in 2021, right after the Olympics. But yeah, super cool, right? And 
Some of the things I also want to add on that I wrote some notes I want to talk to you guys. Uh, while I was training in Cairo, the only thing in my head is like, man, how am I going to survive this training that Jesus gave me? And how am I going to look good while at it? That's the problem. It doesn't matter if you look good. Do the work. And that's it, right? That was my mentality. How am I going to look good while doing this? It's so hard. It's so loud. And then it changed that world. I just got to do it because then competition is going to be easy. And guess what? In competition, it was so much easier. It felt more relaxed. It was just a battle with myself. After all of that, it felt good. So he tailored it for us so that when we compete, the, intent, the, the volume was going to go like this. The intensity always stayed high. And your performance would do this, right? So volume, intensity is always high. But the performance will go up as the volume went down. If we brought down the intensity of the training, meaning the amount of rest and all that, your body is not gonna is gonna get into a state of like lazy, and it's gonna be really hard to bring out the best. So he's always keeping it intense at least through that tapering phase. It was just the volume that fluctuated, right? And that was super cool. And I love the training with like science behind it. It gives me a purpose to everything, every keyhole, and every stretch, every rep, every set, everything had a purpose. And the purpose was to bring us to that peak, right? And the fact that with hard draws, with everything, after looking at my kata, I was happy. You know, we hit everything, we grew, regardless of results, no matter win, lose, medal, no medal. Of course, we all want a medal, right? It feels nice to come home with something, especially those, those long flights home. It feels nice. But if I didn't get a medal, how would I feel? I mean, I didn't get a medal for a long time. This is only number seven ever, right, for me, so. It was so like, oh, I did the work, I just wish I would have gotten it, but I'm proud of myself. And nothing is for certain, meaning you can work super hard, you can train right, you can train great, you can train here, you can, it doesn't matter. Nothing is certain, nothing is sure that you're going to win, right? You have to control your mentality, you have to control your effort, your mindset, your personality. You need to be satisfied with who you are, out of yourself, part of the human you are, be kind to people. You, there's so many things, you just have to be happy with you, with your karate, with your path, everything, you have to be at peace and enjoy it. And I feel like I've been enjoying my karate a lot more. I've been very happy and we we'll just keep walking on the path, enjoying every step of the way. I'm sharing with you guys all these experiences. I hope you're enjoying them. If you guys have any questions about anything at all, comment down below. If you haven't noticed, I read them all. I put a little heart on it. If I read it at least, I reply to everyone. If you have any questions, let me know. We can talk about it. Thank you guys for all the support, love, and peace to all of you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.